Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we've got some really interesting terrain to look at compatible with tabletop games such as Star Wars Legion and other games. Uh, and this is sent to us from Tiny Army Terrain. Uh, and this is interactive terrain. I'll talk about what that means here in a minute. Uh, but they did send all of this out. Uh, so we can, we're going to take a look at individual pieces. Uh, we're going to show you all of the different uh, pieces that were sent. And then we're going to talk about some of the interactive rules. So if you want to check out Tiny Army Terrain, I'll have a link in the video description below. And also a discount code in the description below as well that you can use to save yourself a little bit of money if you want to go ahead and order some of this terrain. Now, this was all sent pre-painted, pre-assembled, and all of that good stuff. So if you're not in the uh, habit of wanting to make and fabricate your own terrain, this might be an excellent option. So uh, if you are interested, be sure to check them out and also stick around. Plus, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around the channel as we talk more about tabletop gaming and all things related to that. So uh, without further ado, let's take a closer look at some of these buildings. All right, so first is the radar station, and uh, this is kind of just a, a, a typical sort of uh, square building. Uh, it is a little bit tapered at the top, uh, has some windows, uh, lots of little details kind of built into the side. Now, this is 3D printed. All of these are 3D printed pieces. Uh, this is a, a single piece. For the most part, we do have a little radar on top that can be removed uh, for storage purposes and then put back on or spun around or kind of angled to whichever direction that you want. You've got a sculpted ladder on here too, which is going to also allow a building like this to pull double duty into other games. Um, like if you wanted to use these for Shatterpoint or whatever, you've got um, you know the option to do that as well. Um, you do have a nice little... Um, oh gosh, what do you call these things? Like a barist, not a barista. That's somebody who makes coffee. But um, yeah, you've got the little sh the shade. You got a computer terminal over here too. And all of these, uh, all of these uh, buildings uh, have optional kind of sort of homebrew rules that go along with these. So if you want to use them as normal terrain, which is kind of how I typically do stuff, you can do that. Uh, but if you want to turn it into like a variation of the normal gameplay, you can do that as well. And these are all pre, not just pre-painted, but pre-textured. I'm gonna try and get real close so you can see um, what I'm looking at. This is like a, a sandy texture that's all over this. Uh, now this is pretty interesting, especially for the like the desert themed stuff. Um, it does, uh, it, it looks like the whole piece was treated with this sandy texture. So you uh, you do actually have a little bit of sandy texture on the metal. Uh, parts as well, so that's uh, that's that's interesting. I, you know, I, I think it would probably have been um, nicer to have this part smoothed off and then have texture just on like the this part and have like maybe your your ladder be more smoother metal. But uh, but I can imagine that, that you know stuff like that happens to um, um, you know to to all of the sets out in the desert. Your 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 cover area here, your barista. It's not a barista. I keep calling it a barista. It is not, does not have that sandy texture though. So you do have certain parts that don't have that. Um, we're going to move on a little bit. You have this staircase. I'm not sure which building this one uh, connects to. I think it's one of the smaller buildings, uh, but it's since it's a separate piece, you can kind of connect it wherever you'd like, uh, which I thought that was really cool as well. We have a, uh, a hospital which is a very cool piece, um, indicated by the little sort of red cross uh, symbol on there as well. And this is a taller building. This is more of a height two building. Uh, so it's about eight inches or so tall. Um, as you kind of typically see in a lot of the desert themed terrains, you have some that are square, some that are more round. So they're keeping uh, it very familiar with sort of a tattooing sort of look uh, in here. And, and so this is all pre-painted. If you want to touch any of this stuff up too, you can do that. Um, you know, you've got certain uh, um, certain parts like right here where it's like, um, you know, maybe you're, you know, where it looks like it was kind of maybe either a drip or just or just kind of, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, this is a rough town, you know, and, and it's not as pristine. It's seen maybe that maybe that was blood from an alien that got shot up against that building. You can give it a story if you uh, if you want to do something like that. Uh, let me see here. We've got we've got the uh, the armory. Uh, which is up next. Um, this one is, uh, oh, and it's got, they've got symbols on them too. So this is pretty cool. Now this is a double layered building. So you've got a little bit of a, 
uh, an upstairs and a downstairs. And then you also have the roof up here. So I guess you technically have a third layer uh, there too, which is very cool. Uh, but this interesting thing about a lot of these buildings is because they do have uh, special rules. So you're part of the rules. I'm not going to go too deep into it because I will put a link to the website and they, they have a PDF so you can download the full rules. But they basically deal with like if you're con if you have control. Uh, and I'm going to put some characters next to this. Um, so we'll get we'll get a couple of uh, appropriately themed characters, right? So I got Mando and I'm IG88 and uh, IG11 both um, and and Boba, right? Uh, and and if you're if you have uh, control of a f certain place, you'll you'll get some kind of bonus effect, and it usually will boil down to get a rolling a die, and depending on what the die result is, you get a certain bonus. So for like you could get a free upgrade for or for example, uh, in some cases you could get a free heavy weapon depending on the building. You can get tokens. There are tokens that come with all of this these sets, and you can use these tokens as sort of uh, repair tokens. Credits to reroll dice, or or um, or healing tokens that are kind of are treated like as a uh, like heal heal one capacity, or you know capacity one, or repair one capacity one. Um, there's a radar token from the radar station. Uh, this one is a little interesting to me because uh, you can use it to look at your opponent's next order. But if you're playing with your order tokens in the bag, then you won't really know what's next. So maybe I guess they'd have to pull one out. But uh, but if you're playing with them stacked, it'll let you look at whatever's on top. Of the stack there, so you've got uh, you got a lot of different types of tokens that some of these uh, that some of these places will hand out to you, which I thought was pretty interesting. But uh, but you can see that the the height of these are, are really good. I just dropped one of those tokens as I'm sitting here talking about them, uh, but really good for Legion. Um, you can do and, and you could use these for a lot of your other war gaming uh, games as well. Uh, so I thought that that was pretty cool. Let's uh, let's take a look a look at a couple other pieces. All right, so uh, next up is the bank. Uh, this is a pretty cool one, pretty easy to identify. Makes a really nice centerpiece in the middle of your table. Uh, painted nice and gold and has the gold in front with the credits symbol on here. This one will give out uh, one or more credits depending on which the die roll is. If you're again, if you're playing with the, uh, the, you know, the, the custom rules for it, which again, you don't have to do, but you certainly can. We've got uh, I'm, I'm a mechanics shop here. This one is uh, really interesting because it can do, uh, it's like a workshop and you can do repairs. From this, you can get repair tokens that all kind of act like, like how the, the hospital can give out healing tokens. This one can give out repair tokens. Also, uh, if you roll well enough, you might get a free vehicle uh, that can spawn out of the garage here, like as a once per game uh, type of effect, which I think is maybe a little too strong to be in the game. But again, if you're trying to just change things up and have fun and, and, and do something different than your normal Legion, then maybe that's something that you want to do. So uh, so I, th I thought that that one's good. But this one's a pretty, just a, a pretty regular kind of rectangular building for the most part. A uh, lot of surface area on the top here too, which I thought is good. Uh, we also have... Uh, we have this this building as well, uh, with the little um, the little kind of shade. Uh, again, not a barista. Um, ban banister, ba bar barristers. I don't. Gosh, what is this thing called? Onager. Oh no, that's that's a ship. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. Somebody in the comments is gonna tell me what you call these shade things that come out and uh, and cover like you keep the sun out of a window. Um, and we also have some like a little bit more just typical houses uh, to kind of add. Uh, so not maybe not every single uh, you know uh, building is, is special. You've got you've got some some typical houses as well uh, that uh, are going to fit really really well. I mean, a uh, thing about this it, too is that a lot of folks will already have some desert terrain too. So this is going to augment what you already have and uh, give you new ways to use your existing kind of desert play mats and desert terrain as well. All right, so here you can get a kind of a good look of a lot of it all set up together and sort of kind of bring it all together. We'll we'll also kind of put a couple of uh, other figures down. So we'll put like Mando and uh, and IG kind of kind of recreating that maybe that scene from uh, from Mandalorian. I'll uh, change it up a little bit. We'll put Bosk out there. He's on a rooftop. Um, let's put Boba Fett um, over here. Maybe he's working with Mando. Maybe he's not. We'll put the uh, IG eighty eight also out there. Uh, maybe coming from the side. Maybe he's on top of this building here too. You can fit. You can fit an entire character's base uh, on the so side of these as well. So it'll work really, really good for for lone miniatures uh, to be able to get on top here. 
Um, you can fit completely on even the small areas, uh, but for larger troop movements, like a whole unit of stormtroopers, you might have a harder time fitting those uh, all on the more narrower rooftops, although some of them you'll have a little bit easier room. You know, like this one right here, you can fit twos and threes pretty easily, uh, but maybe not a group of six, whereas the workshop back here, you can fit a whole group of six a lot more easily. So again, lots of different options, a lot of different variation. Uh, some rooftops are rounded, uh, some rooftops, like the hospital, are a little bit more flat. So you do have definitely uh, a lot of variation for whether you're using flying vehicles, flying troopers, jumping troopers, uh, and uh, hover vehicles, and all sorts of different things like that. So very cool stuff. Um, and just to kind of give an idea, like, you know, Shatterpoint, here's a Shatterpoint miniature. Uh, they can fit on a lot of these as well. Um, so you have, uh, you know, oh, look at that. We can even get them on the overhangs too. Again, the bases for Shatterpoint are a lot bigger than the bases for Legion. So you have to be a little more selective on some of the stuff that you can do. But again, it's nice, always nice to have terrain that can pull double duty in both games. All right, so if you want to check any of this out for yourself, you can head over to Tiny Army Terrain's website. I'll put a link in the description below. Don't forget that discount code so you can save a little bit on any of your purchases. Let them know you heard about them here. And uh, big thanks to Tiny Army Terrain for sending all of this out. Uh, we will be using uh, a lot of this terrain in a future battle report. So maybe we'll try to kind of do something uh, maybe Mandalorian themed. Or, or maybe just using some of the new, uh, some of the new battle forces and stuff. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get to see some of this in action. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing and help make this channel continue to go on. So thank you so much for your continued support. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. So say we all, and have a fantastic rest of your day.